It's a sacred rite, and this congregation and in Unitarian Universalist congregations around the country for hundreds of years, when individual adults make a decision in their heart to join a congregation. This is a ceremony which I cherish deeply. It's our new member signing ceremony, which we do in our worship service to signify the, the spiritual value that it brings to the individual and the community. When people join our church, they make us better, and it makes them better. I believe this in all my soul. Together, we celebrate life, grow in spirit, care for one another, and the wider community, and work with partners in the wider community to, help, to bring more justice and peace and help make the world a better place. And so today, we're thrilled to have folks, seven people joining our church, and, uh, and now turn it over to Tom Ott, who I want to thank, by the way, who is now in the final stretch. Um, he is not a lame duck. <laughs> or, or signing pardons yet, I think, but he is um, in the final stretch of his fourth year as president of our board, which he's done with great dedication and skill, Tom Ott. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone. Of the many joys that being president brings me, none does more so than welcoming new members. Uh, this is a ceremony I very much look forward to. So from the Board of Trustees, I bring welcome to Ann, Richard, Lisa, Sharon, Kyle, Tamatha, and Jason. For myself, I can only hope, though I actually know, that this congregation will bring as much spiritual and social joy to you as it has to me and my wife. I will also hope that you will bring your talents, your skills, and your love to this congregation as well in full measure. So welcome. And I'm Treva Berger, the welcoming chair. I am pleased to welcome the following people into membership. As I call your name, please come up and join Kent at the membership book to sign, and then um, Tom will give you the book A Chosen Faith and your new name tags. Um, I gave one book to the couple, so there are five books instead of seven. <laughs> Anne Clary. Anne spent all her life until 2014 in southern Maine. She was brought up a Unitarian Universalist, attending the first Paris church in Portland. She and Richard were married there in 1987. Anne worked at the University of Southern Maine in the television department and was later the director of the distance education program. She's now retired. In 2014, Anne and Richard moved to Horsham to spend more time with their granddaughter, Maya, who is beautiful in her dress this morning. They are now trying to move closer to the city and closer to the church where they have found community. Welcome, Anne. Richard Clary. Richard started out in Wissahickon and then moved all over New England as his parents mastered the art of house flipping. He and Anne have three children and two grandchildren. He has taught at Cornell, Colby College, and at the University of Southern Maine where he was dean of the business school. And he was on the board of directors of a multinational company for 32 years. He is now fully retired and loving every minute of it. <laughs> His passions include yoga, which he's taught for 19 years, fishing, music of almost all genres, and learning everything there is to know about life from his five-year-old granddaughter. Welcome, Richard. Lisa Dutton. Lisa started attending USG in the summer and is delighted to embrace the principles of this Unitarian Universalist community. For the first time, she has found a religious and spiritual perspective that makes sense to her. Professionally, Lisa's career has focused on management and performance improvement consulting in healthcare and academic settings. Personally, Lisa is married with a furry companion. She has been involved in Penn alumni activities and pro bono consulting for nonprofit, community-based organizations and with Compass Incorporated. 
Additionally, she's an avid skier who also enjoys travel, reading, and good food. Welcome, Lisa. Sharon Mafuru. Sharon has been a contributing friend to USG since 2012. She recently moved from Mount Airy to Glenside with her twin kindergarten age boys, Lusato and David. She has lived in Tanzania, East Africa, and loves using her Swahili language skills for interpreting in hospital and community settings. By day, she is a loss prevention engineer for property insurance, helping manufacturing plants prevent fire and flood losses. She is active in the mindfulness meditation and child, sp child spiritual development programs at USG and so appreciative to, found, to have found a home here. Welcome, Sharon. And David and <laughs> Kyle Sensenig. Kyle lives in Mount Airy and currently enjoys serving his community as a massage therapist working out of Mellow Massage in East Falls. He's a regular practitioner of mindfulness meditation, enjoys singing and playing his guitar, drawing, writing, reading, and staying active with regular walks in the Wissahickon and trips to the gym. Kyle has been a member of First Unitarian Church in Center City since 2012 and looks forward to beginning a wonderful new chapter of his spiritual development with the loving community that is USG. Welcome, Kyle. <laughs> Tamitha and Jason Van Steenberg. Tamitha and Jason are excited to officially be joining the church after first falling in love with its ideals in Vancouver and then again here in Philadelphia. Tamitha teaches computer and business classes, is the member of the Student Assistance Program, and the faculty advisor of the Gay Straight Alliance and the It's On Us project that combats sexual assault at the Hatboro Horsham High School. She was raised in Horsham. Jason is a neuropsychologist who works with older adults in dementia care. He's interested in the reform of gun laws and the criminal justice system. He loves the diverse presentation of cultural and spiritual traditions that USG provides and is excited to learn about and discuss such topics with those in the church and with his family. He was raised in Bryn Mawr. Jason and Tamitha have two wonderful girls, Sasha and Talia. Both girls love coming to USG. Sasha particularly enjoys the solstice celebrations and Diwali, while the little one enjoys the singing, the cookies, and the playground. <laughs> We all, they all look forward to spending more time here in the coming years. Welcome Tamitha, Jason, Sasha, and Talia. <laughs> After the service, please join all our new members in the dining room while they will be serving the cake. Thank you. At this time, I invite